Hi, we're at Cinec 2018 in Munich and I'm joined by Philip Fischer from ARRI. Thanks for joining me. He's clutching um, a modular map box system which seems to solve every conceivable problem to do with map boxes, filters and diopters. Can you just talk me through this? Yeah, I hope it will really solve all the problems. Yeah. It's called LMB 4x5 and it's, it's part of our lightweight map box system. So yeah. the last one we had is a 25. And by the way, we have an upgrade path to the 4x5 because right, yeah. we really care about our existing yeah. customers yeah. who already own our equipment. So everything's backwards compatible, isn't it? It's not everything, but that's why you can upgrade. So right, you need, okay, yeah. there are two new parts in the new oh, right. box, yeah. but everything else is the same parts, are the same parts as before. Yeah. So this box now is kind of set up with all, almost all accessories yeah. which are there. So it, it doesn't look really like a lightweight box. But it is, you cannot really see it and feel it now, but it's, it's pretty lightweight yeah. for this kind of setup. You have the possibility to use top flex and side flex now. Yeah. We designed it in a way that if you're closing um, the top flex and you want to keep the side flex with it, that you can do that because you can close it and you yeah, see that's it's completely folding flat. To me, nothing, you know, nothing rattles on, nothing fouls on anything, it's not going to get bent, it's, if it's pressed on it's all flat, it's, yeah. Right, so that's one of the new features. Yeah. Um, you see we have an, um, a swing away system now um, yeah. connected here, where you have the classic, also the extension with it, but something special is in here, you have a tilt module, so you can tilt the mat box yeah. up and down up to 10 degrees yeah. to get rid of unwanted reflection yeah. caused by filters yeah. and, and sensors and, yeah, and the lenses. Right. This is something where people really are um, excited about yeah. to have that in the mat box, in a very, very, in a lightweight mat box yeah. with this version. And it's quite ergonomic, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's, it's all very accessible. It's not, you know, coming round the camera, it's, it's easy to get Exactly. The, yeah. the, the, what is very important is that um, focus pullers, you know, nowadays at on film sets, you don't have time at all. So you have to make it really, really simple and that they can work very fast. Yeah. Um, saying that, you see, I can take off this arm by three screws yeah. without any accessories, yeah. um, like this, within, I don't know how it is, like 10 seconds or yeah. less. So now I'm without a, um, a swing away system, but I can use the mat box either as a clamp on version now, um, or I can use another adapter yeah. where I have a 50 millimeter lightweight rod console um, at the bottom. And the interesting thing is, we can also mount it on top. Yeah, because so with our know. accessories, we always have the optically centered top rod mounts. So instead of turning the mat box around, you just it's put there. the adapter on top and slide it on like yep. this. The same possibility you have with this tilt and flex um, donut, where we're reusing a part from Brian Tangerine. Again, you have the interfaces um, for the consoles, yep. and it's a flexible system, which solves a lot of other problems yep. you may have with some still lenses, yeah. uh, vintage lenses. Yeah. And that, that's what really stood out to me, is that these are all the nice big knurled handles. You can make it all finger tight very easily, and it's rock solid, isn't it? It is. And the interesting thing is also, because this mat box looks like an LMB25, people are used to it. They know where the knobs uh, are. So, yeah. Yeah. And so we designed the knob in a different shape, in a different yeah. color, that even without light, you can feel it, or yeah. you can also see it, that this is the, the other knob, which yeah. is in charge for yeah. kind of for the release of um, the clamp adapter yeah. or the filter stage. And by the way, this is a two-stage non-rotating mat box. Yep. And if you want to just add another filter stage, it's easy like this, on, just yeah. like this, and you're on three stage. Yeah. Fast and easy. And this is a non-rotatable. Saying that, you expect, oh, is there a rotatable as well? Yeah. Yes, it is. So now you have the possibility to use a 360 rotating stage. And it's very easy to do again. Um, yeah. On the clip-on mat box, which was not there before. Yeah. So this is also an option now. And then, next step would be if you would like to use this completely independent to the mat box by, for example, gimbal work, yep. Steadicam, Copter, there you would like to, you want to save every little gram you have. Yeah. So just using any clamp adapter, um, like a 114 here, yeah. attach it to the back, and this is all you need. Yeah. Very, very slim and lightweight. And our sunshade from the mat box, you can take off on by four screws. Allen key three screws, captive screws, they cannot yeah. fall out. We have the threads in here, you just put that on here and then you have a very, very compact and lightweight single yeah, filter stage system. Yeah. 
there's no weight to that really at all. Yeah, yeah, no. that's fantastic. So, I mean, you've, you've come up here with a system that answers so many little problems and issues. It does it in a really elegant way. Um, you know, the amount of thought that's gone. How long has it taken to develop that? So in my head, I think it was, it's there since, I don't know how many years. Yeah. <laughs> the project really started, I think, like four, four and a half years ago. Right, yeah. So we had kind of, we wanted to kind of streamline our Madbox program. I started as a product manager. I was a camera assistant before. Yeah. So I started as a product manager for Ari um, around 10 years ago. Yeah. And we had 13 different types of Madboxes, way too many. So yeah. now we're down to five Madboxes. So right. we streamlined yeah, yeah. really the yeah. program. Yeah. And we had first the two studio mat boxes, and then I said I, there should be something in between a modular system. But this is the most difficult, was the most difficult product. So yeah. it took some time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think it was worth the time spending yeah. with it. Yeah, yeah. Are you getting a lot of interest at the show? And there's a lot of interest. We, we're shipping already since more than one oh, year, okay, yeah. and yeah. we have like a four digit number already in the market. Yeah. So people are really excited. Everybody who doesn't know about the system till now, they go like, Wow, all the camera assistants here, they go like, I have to change my list from now on. It's not an LMB25 anymore. I have to put yeah. the LMB4x5 yeah. on, my, on my camera list. Yeah, that's fantastic. And it's great to see, you know, it's just that being so ergonomic as well with the whole thing, because it's, you know, good engineering, it's always the simplest solution that works, isn't it? Yes, that's, 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 the, that's the, I think that's the, one of the secrets and one of the, most different things not to over engineer something to make it really really simple um, and then if somebody has has an ARRI label on it should be an ARRI product so yeah. you have to be really really careful because people are accepting um, expecting a lot from us yeah. Yeah. but the, the other thing is what we do as I said I was a focus puller before years ago but I'm still traveling around go to rental houses go to camera preps visit sets yeah. talk to the people because all these ideas most of the ideas are not my ideas yeah these are all the ideas yeah. and we're collecting feedback from the people. So I'm really depending on the feedback of our customers. And this is the nicest, like, the nicest thing I have with my job, to yeah. talk to all the people yeah. and get the feedback and yeah. have this kind of communication. Yes, that's fantastic. Have you got diopter? Um, we have yeah, diopter yeah. accessories yeah. Yeah, yeah, as well, yeah. new ones, yeah. where yeah. normally people tape diopter to the lens, which yeah. I think well, it's not it's such yeah. a good idea, so there should be an ARRI solution for it. Yeah. We have a, a frame which fits into the matbox, a stage you can use on the matbox or independently. Yeah. Um, by the way, we just introduced the bigger size matbox, the LMB 6x6 oh, okay. here yeah. at Cynic. Yeah. So the bigger brother is also available now, yeah. same system, same features. Right. Yeah. Um, and there will be diopter accessories also for larger diopters um, as well. Fantastic. Well, that's a lot of work there. Um, thanks for showing us at the show. Um, unless you've got anything else in your pocket you want to show me, I don't know. There's a uh, yes, yes, there is something in my pocket. Really? Oh, this is just... Yeah, there is one thing. Um, this is just a small adapter. Yeah. Um, it's made for to, to use accessories as a, um, a quick lock accessory mount. But there's something special in there, and this is the first product where we implemented that. Right. Um, we developed a screw you can use with four different tools. So this screw can be used with a hex 3, a hex 4, a hex 5, and a 532nd inch. So, yeah, so it works by, as the smaller ones, it goes, so whatever tool you've got, it will find its right place. And right, it. exactly. And we yeah. will kind of, this is kind of under the name of Ari Multi-Hex. Whenever you hear, hear this name, whenever you see the symbol oh, okay, there, right, yes. you, yeah. you yeah. know, oh, I can use it with yeah. a lot of yeah. um, different tools. They're going to have one of those less, in their pocket, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, let's face it, yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. And what is that part of? That's... That's a part of, of this um, yeah. accessory mount, yeah. which is um, like an accessory bracket yeah, yeah. you can mount everywhere on, on the ARRI interface. Yeah. And we will have more adapters in the more future. Coming. This yeah. is just like the, yeah. the start of a new accessory mounting system. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much, Philip. That really is it, is it? You've got nothing else? I have a lot more, but no, uh, I think <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. we'll make yeah, it for another yeah. time. We yeah, have to come yeah. to our booth or exactly, on yeah. our website on yeah. ari.com slash PCA. Actually, yeah. You'll find all the products, all the mechanically. Because there's a products. huge amount of that that we haven't talked through. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's mind-blowing, actually, all the different bits and the different ways you can use it. So it's, it's well worth checking out. Thank you for your time. Hope the rest of the show is really good for you. Great. And we'll see you at another show in the future. Sure. Thank you very much. Thank you.